All right, today I'm gonna to be showing you everything you can do in Witchhurst. So first off, you can come talk to these people. Just because part of the game is completing, or talking to every single person, and reading everything, and doing everything. Even if it doesn't give you anything, and it doesn't show up on anything, you, you know, oops, leave me alone. You just do it, because you do. A little chit chitter. So you can come over here, and that's the guy that gives you the potion. And I don't know. I'm just going to assume that's his wife. Deal with it. So a lot of people don't notice this, but you can actually come over here and grab a rare candy, which levels up one of your Pokemon. In case you didn't know that, but I I highly doubt that. If you've played other Pokemon games, you should know that. So, if you come back here, you can just read all the books and stuff, and that's the only real thing you can... So this is just a little cutscene, sort of. This you can only do once, but I figure it is something that you do in Witchhurst. So, this guy, as soon as you leave the Pokemon lab for the first time, he'll give you a potion. So I figured I might as well include that, the uh, post-game and stuff. Uh, but yes, moving on. So, you can come up here, and you can. Alright, another thing you can do in Wedgehurst is you can talk to this lady. Or teenager, I don't know. Uh, yeah, you can send my fortune. Alright, I don't know if I should be showing you this. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna... Okay, and then she needs to know the day that you were born. And then she says, I got it. Oh, great. Whatever. Whatever. Fortune <laughs> is, let's see here. What's this in here? No, what's here what's so you don't actually get your fortune told, but you have to return here on your birthday, and something special will happen. I'm not going to spoil it for you, but you just, you just do that. Yeah. Another thing you can do in Witchhurst, and it's only a one-time thing, you can go into the Pokemon Center, and if you're new to this game, or any Pokemon game really, uh, Hop will give you a little tour. So, I mean, I've replayed this game four times, so, uh, yeah, I've been in Pokemon Center. So yeah, you can heal your Pokemon, use the road to me, uh, so you can, yeah. Sorry about that, I legit ran out of recording space while recording. So you can also go to the Rotomy and customize your lead cart, access your boxes, uh, take up poke jobs and stuff. You can go to the Pokemart, uh, buy and sell items and stuff. Uh, this guy will rate your nickname and eventually, uh, he can, uh, remember your Pokemon's memories. That's the same with the Rotomy. You'll only get poke jobs and stuff later on, or more poke jobs, I guess. And the Pokemon, you get more stuff uh, once you complete gyms and stuff. I don't know about completing. The, no, not not when you come. Be, not when you become champion. No. Okay, sorry. I just like cut the camera there and showed you the parts that I already did, so I could just go through without having to worry about it. So you can uh, buy berries here. I'm just gonna talk to that person because, like I said earlier, you know. So yeah, you can buy berries. I'm just gonna buy 10 of each. Just because. They're, you know, they're good for healing certain status conditions, but only these three. And of course you can always use them in curry. Maybe I'll make a few videos on curry. I don't know. If you guys want me to, then sure, I will. And this one, I like I mentioned earlier, not a lot of people notice it, but this one's more noticeable than the other one. You can come here, grab a polka doll. Guarantees escape from any Pokemon. Then you can come in here and talk to this person. Mm-hmm, yes. And then talk to this person. And then talk to this person. And buy every single piece of clothing. Now, I don't have enough money right now, obviously. But I do have every single piece of clothing here on my other profile. So if you guys don't mind, I'm just gonna 
change my look. All right, there we go. I changed my look, put it on time lapse. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm gonna change my hairstyle and eye color, along with thickness of eyebrows once I get to Moto Soak. But yeah, you can do that. Um, so yeah, and you just come along here and talk to everybody in here. There's just two people, so just just deal with it. 10 seconds of your day or gameplay whatever talk to this person and this person and this person you can talk to the Pokemon if you want uh, I don't normally talk to the Pokemon uh, unless it's in X, Y X and Y uh, there's also a revive right here yeah, because in X and Y, uh, I think it was, I, ha I haven't played in a while, I think it was called the Lost Forest or something, I don't know. It's where all the Pokemon go uh, when they've been released by their trainers, and you actually have to go there to find, like, the Ice-type gym leader. And some of the Pokemon give you, like, a potion and a Pokeball and stuff like that, I don't know. But it's worth it, maybe, not really, it doesn't take that long. So... Next up will be Route 2. But yeah, that's everything you can do in Wedgehurst. Another thing you can do in Wedgehurst is uh, once you meet Hop at the train station, he'll give you TM Swift. And uh, I should include the train station. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's just whatever. It, never mind. I was just thinking to myself there. So, yeah, you can come in here and then your mom will give you camping gear and you can also talk to the Pokemart guy over there I mean if you wanted to buy more items and I'm pretty sure there's some people in here you can talk to if you really wanted to like I said earlier it's just part of the game talk to everyone gain knowledge uh, even if they don't give you an item but knowledge is power remember that Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, be sure to subscribe to enjoy more YouTube videos. For mainly video game tutorials, be sure to drop a like and share this video with a friend. Thanks for watching. Bye.